and have a meeting uh, on with the London 11 on Syria. Okay, and I just wondered if I could ask you um, if you were aware of reports that there's been thieves uh, fighting between Ukrainian troops and, and these militias in the southeastern city of um, Mariupol, mm -hmm. in which 21 people apparently have been killed, which is seems to me a, a worrying escalation of the violence. Well, we condemn the outbreak of violence caused by pro-Russia separatists this morning in Mariupol, which has resulted in multiple deaths. Uh, we continue to call for groups who have jeopardized public order by taking up arms and seizing public buildings in violation of Ukrainian law to disarm and leave the buildings they have seized. Uh, so certainly we are aware of that. Uh, we're watching it uh, very closely. I would also say in relation to your other question, um, you know, we would welcome any steps uh, Russia uh, would be willing to take to defuse uh, tensions in accordance with its Geneva commitments. Uh, we've seen their words before. Uh, what we're waiting for is actions. And if this crisis is going to end, we need their words to be made real. Uh, so if they are serious about uh, what they're saying, uh, they need to tell separatists to lay down their arms, uh, to release those who are being held, um, and that obviously we have not seen happen. Yes, Syria? Uh, no, Ukraine? Ukraine? Go ahead. 